going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about mobile games. Something that I don't really indulge in anymore. I'm not really a big phone game guy or even on my iPad. Very seldom will I get into that. I like to play portable games on portable dedicated handhelds. I know a lot of people don't do that. I'm just a little old school. Now, Nintendo has really been smart coming out with Pokemon Go. They got Mario Run. They got a lot of really intelligent endeavors coming to the mobile market. And I think it's going to see incredible dividends for the company. Nintendo obviously has big plans to bring their franchises to everyone's phones and tablets. And I think it's a really great idea. Sony has tried this in the past. They came out with the Xperia phone way back in 20. 2011 and it was a PlayStation phone when you slid the screen up there was actually a tactile controller and supposedly it supported PlayStation games I was really interested in possibly getting this phone but unfortunately no real PlayStation games came out and the games that did come out for the first Xperia phone were really lacking to say the least but it appears that Sony's going to try their hand at what Nintendo has done with Pokemon Go and with Mario Run. I think Mario Run is going to be very, very successful. I saw that game. It looks fun. It looks like it's easy to play. And everybody loves Mario. I think everyone is going to actually be playing that game. But it looks like Sony wants to try their hand at this. Will they be successful? You guys let me know. I'll drop a link in the description. Following Nintendo's footsteps, PlayStation is bringing games to the iPhone and Android. When Apple announced its new iPhone in September, the news was overshadowed by a goofy plumber with a bushy mustache and bright blue overalls. Nintendo unveiled its first ever smartphone game, starring its biggest icon, Super Mario himself. Quote, Super Mario Run arrives on December 15th for $10 and is coming to the iPhone, iPad first, thanks to a deal struck between Nintendo and Apple. Nintendo creative director Shigeru Miyamoto even appeared on stage to announce it. Miyamoto is essentially the Walt Disney of video games, having created Mario, Link, Donkey Kong, and many other iconic Nintendo characters. For Miyamoto to appear on stage with Apple's Tim Cook was, to put it lightly, a very big deal. In a Tokyo event on December 7th, Sony's mobile gaming unit made a less splashy, broader announcement about Sony's PlayStation games. Ten smartphone titles are in the works, with six planned to launch in the coming fiscal year, according to Reuters. Unlike Nintendo's approach, Sony's leading with lesser known games from the PlayStation's past. Music and rhythm game Parappa the Rapper and tactical role playing game Ark the Lad. Also, unlike Nintendo's approach, it appears that Sony's targeting Japan first. The games will arrive on iPhone and Android in Japan and other parts of Asia before going worldwide. This makes particular sense for the Ark the Lad series, it's widely popular in Japan. It looks like the mobile versions of these games aren't direct ports of the original PS1 games. A version of Hot Shots Golf, known as Everybody's Golf in Japan, shown after the presentation, demonstrates how the series is being adapted for smartphone gaming. The PlayStation blog in Japan has a ton more details and a longer list of games. Many of them seem destined to not arrive in the US, but assuredly some will. Here's the list. Ark the Lad, Parappa the Rapper, Everybody's Golf, Dash, Wild Arms, Summer Holiday 20th Century, a game starring PlayStation's Japanese mascot Toro, Disgaea, Nighttime, and Between Skies and Sea. Many of these games have a to-be-determined launch window, but Everybody's Golf is slated to arrive in Spring 2017. Sony's tried his hand at mobile gaming in the past. A variety of PS1 games were sold on mobile phones under the PlayStation Mobile name. Sony's Xperia Playphone even had a built-in gamepad specifically for use with these types of games. Of course, if you're interested in playing classic and new PlayStation games on the go right now, there's always the PlayStation Vita. Sony plans to start selling these games in 2017. We've asked for more information, but we haven't heard back as of publishing. So, I really can't say there's anything wrong with this, and I'll take it from my good friend Briar Rabbit, who's right quite a bit. There's nothing wrong with more options. There's a lot of people who don't have time for dedicated gaming consoles. There are people who are in school and who have jobs and have families and they don't have time to play PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and they only have a few minutes out of the day where they have downtime. And for those people to be able to play a PlayStation game on their iPhone or on their Android device or on their tablet just for a few minutes, this might actually make a lot of sense. I think that mobile gaming, believe it or not, is the future. There was a few years ago where I said it totally wasn't, but I'm one of those people that sees the direction the wind is blowing, and it definitely is. The mobile 
arena is definitely the direction that the gaming world is going. Now, I don't like in particular the way that mobile games are played, but I think as time goes on and new technology is developed, it will become more synonymous with what we're used to playing with at home. You guys let me know what you think about Sony's endeavor to bring PlayStation games to Android and iOS. Also, let me know what you think about Nintendo's Mario Run coming. I think that game is going to be big, big news. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel by clicking on that support tab at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.